Hey, what's up, YouTube? Big Bepis today, coming back at you with another deck profile. Uh, this time, uh, we're going to be doing a, a clan that is very near and dear to my heart, which, surprisingly, I only, I've only done one deck profile of in the past, uh, and that is Nova Grapplers. Um, now, I know there's been a lot of a lot of contention in the um, in the community about Nova Grapplers right now. Their their latest premium collection strat was revealed, and a lot of people think it's not that great. I personally think um, it has a lot more potential than people are giving it credit for. Um, but that's my opinion, um, and that's that's not for today's video. Uh, this video uh, actually is a deck list that I've put together that I've been working on and tweaking on, and I know I've played it. Uh, I've played it in the past. I'm not sure if I uploaded videos on the channel or not, um, but this is a deck that is designed to take advantage of the previous premium collection tried for, for Nova Grappler, and that's Universe Ace Buster, the, this guy. Um, so... This deck is designed to fully take advantage of his skill while also um, keeping allowing you to maintain card advantage um, and not have to and not require you to a lot of use a lot of um, resources to uh, to take advantage of his effect. Uh, so as you can see here, our starters uh, Beast DD White Tiger. Uh, he's important because we need him for uh, Beast DD uh, Scarlet Bird that we run or Scarlet Bird Crimson Bird. I can never remember the name of the damn card. Uh, Scarlet Bird, yes, okay, so I was correct. So we need him for Beast Deity Scarlet Bird, who is a linchpin of the combo of the deck. Um, and plus, being able to draw a card to dig for your combo pieces is very helpful. Um, that being said, onto our grade threes. So we run a full suite. We run four Beast Deity Azure Dragon. Um, we really need that imaginary gift for or Excel 2, excuse me, uh, to draw that card to dig for our combo pieces. Plus, if our opponent, um... Wants to give us early game counter blast. We this will allow us to draw, dig for an extra piece, generate an extra attack, um, and help us set up for our buster turns. Uh, and next we run four copies of Beast Deity, uh, Ultra Beast Deity, Aluminal Dragon. Uh, again, uh, Excel. We want that. Uh, we want to be able to get that marker on ride, dig for our pieces. Uh, plus, he can allow us to gain extra attacks if uh, extra attacks if we ride him as the Vanguard. Uh, forcing our opponent into this weird situation where it's like, do I block the attack? Do I not block the attack? Because if I block the attack, then I'm just, I, I, there's that uh, off chance that now I have to deal with an even bigger attack. Um, plus, he just becomes a really big beat stick on Vanguard or Rearguard because all you have to do is hit something with one of your unit, other your units. Doesn't have to, doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't have to be Vanguard. Um, just something, and then he immediately gets plus five, plus fifteen k for the turn. Um. We only run eight grade threes in this deck um, because I honestly couldn't think of any other better grade threes to run. Uh, so, like, any, anything to help facilitate the combo that wouldn't be too resource intensive. Um, uh, so now onto our grade twos, uh, we run uh, twelve grade twos and I start off with a play set of Kick Kick Typhoon. Um, he's really useful because you know as he's optimal grade two ride because he's fourteen k base, which means if your opponent goes. Uh, Somehow manages to ride up on you. Say they they manage to accelerate to their grade three. Um, he can you can uh, ride him on Vanguard, become 14k base, still hit your opponent's Vanguard. Um, also, you know, uh, extra attacks if you have a full front row, which is also nice. Um, and he can also give buffs to your other rear guards once you have Excel markers out uh, to be able to allow them to hit over if need be. Uh, then we have. Did I say we were running 12 grade 2s? I, I lied. We're running 11. Uh, then we have 4 uh, V Brutal Jack. Um, so he is very much necessary for the deck because of his ability uh, to stand himself. Because not only can he do that if need be, uh, you know, being able to rest two other rear guards uh, to stand himself to get a proc off of Bustard. And then if you have a, a, a Scarlet Bird, be able to call that down and restand the other two to proc buster twice and two more times and draw a card at the same time is really nice um 19k beat stick is also really nice 24 if he's on on the excel 2 um because we're this deck almost exclusively goes excel 2 so we, we don't care about uh we're, we're not factoring in excel 1 um if we do go excel 1 it's probably just because we we drew the nuts um and are able to to deal with that but yeah um so i, I want to get a quick little tidbit to people that don't don't know how this works his axe skill, you can actually rest himself to restand. So if you only, if you're trying to be cheeky and get an extra proc of Bustard off, 
If you if you call him down and want another card, you can rest himself and, and another like say say I called had both these on the field, I can rest these and then that will cause him to restand because his cost sp doesn't specify rest two other rear guards. It just says rest two rear guards. And the way axe skills work is you pay the cost and then resolve the effect. So the cost getting paid first, then he sees that oh yeah, uh, um stand myself, I'm rested so. That helps uh, to get you a proc of Bustard without having to burn uh, through uh, resources. And our last grade two in the deck is a hell of an old callback. This is from BT05, the original BT05, and that is Street Mounter. This card, uh, I have fallen in love with this card again. I've, I've been in love with this card, actually, since I played Cat Riser back in the day during Legion era. Um, so this card... If you don't, guys don't know what this does, because this card's hella old. Um, it's auto, rest this unit, and choose another of your Nova Grappler rear guards in the same column as this unit, and rest it. When this unit is placed on rear guard circle, if you have a Nova Grappler Vanguard, you may pay the cost if you do draw a card. So this, uh, this he re allows us to call him down, rest himself, and the other card in the column to draw a card. So now we have two rested units that we can now restand with Scarlet Bird, plus we drew an extra card, so he replaced himself. So this allows us to build up our combo and dig through our, for our pieces... Um, the only downside is, yes, he is an 8k, but because we have 8k grade ones, um, uh, that's a 16k column right there, uh, but we also have other cards that can that can get very big. Um, so now moving on to our, that's it for the grade twos, uh, so now moving on to our grade ones, uh, this is another callback, this is from, oops, if I didn't drop the damn cards, this is, sorry guys, from... The G Extra Booster 3, the Galaxy Stargate, Extreme Battler Gunston. So, this guy is in here because one of the biggest things I was trying with this deck is to find multiple ways to reliably get units rested so I could restand them for Bustard. And this is one of the best units you can restand for Bustard. Um, so, for those of you who don't know what he does, he has an axe skill on rearguard circle. It's once per turn, generation break one. Uh, rest this unit, choose up to five of your rear guards, and then until end of turn they get continuous rear guard circle resist. That is phenomenal because one of the biggest weaknesses this deck has is losing f losing front row rear guards to shut off your kick kick typhoon. Um, so like if you're going up against the Kagero matchup or you're going up against uh, Naru like say Narukami, which is starting to see a resurgence now, um, this guy helps immensely because then they can't they can't. Um, they, they can't uh, Denial Griffin your stuff, uh, they can't Impede Dragon your stuff, and they, they can't stop you from, from going off. Uh, then his second skill is Rush Auto Rearguard Circle once per turn. When this unit stands due to the effect of your card, this unit gets power plus 4,000 until end of turn for each face-up card in your G-Zone. So now, that doesn't exactly sound like a lot, but what's great is if you have him and a bunch of other cards rested, and then you call down a Scarlet Bird, stand them all up at the same time while you're on Bustard, you proc because Buster will see the multiple stands and his skill will go on standby multiple times, as will Gunston's skill. You resolve Buster's skills first and then resolve Gunston. So then Gunston will see all those face up uh, units in the G zone that you flip for Buster uh, before, uh, before uh, which is typically like three or four. So then now you got a 19 or 23k uh, grade one. So he's good as a beat stick. He's also good as a booster for. Uh, for Street Bouncer here, so, you know, he becomes a 19k booster, that's a 27k column, that's magic numbers against Excel, uh, other Excel clans, which is really nice. Um, and so also, of course, we run four copies of our, of our, our, our Beast Deity Scarlet Bird, this guy is the linchpin of the deck, um, one place during your main phase, Soul Blast 1, stand all of your units, and if you stand two or more units and Beast Deity White Tigers in your soul, draw a card. So, he replaces himself, stands all your units, he lets you. He's the one that lets you get all the, the million procs of Bustard off. Um, unfortunately, there's there is actually one other card. There's one other card that we unfortunately never got in America called Morning Timer. Um, and it, I wish we had access to that card because that would being at, have able to have both Scarlet Bird and Morning Timer in the deck would make would make the deck so much more consistent. Um, but unfortunately, all we have right now is Scarlet Bird. And I don't foresee us getting Morning Timer anytime soon because he was a promo during G era. Uh, and if he hasn't come out now, he, I don't think we're ever getting him. Uh, so next up, we run three Unknown Adamski. Um, so this guy helps um, 
This guy helps if you don't find your Scarlet Birds and your opponent does, has given you resources. Um, he's basically mini Azure Dragon on place. You don't draw a card, but you get to stand something and swing with it, and then if it doesn't hit, it restands. Um, so that's nice because you can get multiple procs of Buster uh, off of one CB. So, like, say your opponent, ha you know, you could you could do something as simple as call down uh, a, a grade one, not Scarlet Bird, but this is just an example. Call down another grade one, um, force it to attack, and because it's not big enough, it's going to miss, and then uh, you, you know, if it's rested for something, like, say, all right, here's a better example. Say we have Gunsden here. We call down a Gunsden, we rested him for his skill, we call down a Damski, Stan Gunsden, uh, we don't, we don't resolve the rush skill, swing, swing in, misses, restands again, still don't resolve the, uh, the rush skill, and then, um, now we've gotten two procs of Buster for one CB if necessary if we don't find our Scarlet Birds. So, that's really useful in that. Um, plus it also allows you to get extra attacks during your main phase, which is very, very useful for the deck, um, to give more pressure. Uh, and then last but not least, we have three stride fodder, um, because we, we just need to be able to stride, like, uh, obviously if we can't stride, the deck kind of falls flat. I um, mean, you can still have some decently powerful turns without striding, but you really want to be able to go into Buster to, to get your multiple drive checks and get your, uh, get your massive pluses off of that. Um, and now for the triggers, typical lineup, four wall boy, four magna gauss 2502, Two Shining Lady, two Red Lightning to trick your opponent to think you're in running in 12 crit. And then uh, four Twin Blader for draw PGs because you still need card advantage. Um, uh, Magna Gauss is... I, I will make, make a point in saying Magna Gauss is actually very important to the strategy of the deck. Um, you know, he can be a useful card to slap down and then call a, a Street Bouncer in front of. So when you attack with your Buster, you can get that extra card in soul. And if you have a Kick Kick, you get that restand, get an extra drive check. Um, very important. So that, and also just being able to rebuild up the soul to get extra resources, because as you notice, there's really no way to build soul in this deck aside from riding. Um, and Bustard is a very soul heavy unit. All right. So that's it for the main deck, uh, onto the G zone here. So I run, I personally run two copies of universe ace Bustard, um, because sometimes one's not enough, but you will be able to build up enough resources off of the, uh, enough card advantage off of the first one to live through your opponent's stride and then be able to potentially go into a second one to close out the game um one is typically more than enough i run two just because it's me um i felt like two is the best number if you want you can just replace the other one with something else uh one uh progenitor dragon of horizon limit origarim um he's great being able to stride for free is super super huge um plus if you have any sort of like way to multi-attack being able to multi-attack while your opponent's on zero power is great uh and then these are uh, the finishers uh, one favorite champ Victor, because generally after your, um, uh, your buster turn, you're going to have like four or five face up cards in G zone. You basically get a, a full re restand, uh, field restand. Um, and also one Fang Dragon King Fist Dragger. Um, if you draw onto your heels and you're able to have a, a solid buster turn and G guard a couple times, you can easily go into this as your second stride and just, and just molly wop your opponent. Yes, I said molly wop. Don't judge me. Um, and then now the, the, I run once a breeze just because um, if your if your opponent's trying to grade two game you um, he's basically flip fodder but it's there just in case uh, one winning champ victor uh, again he's he's an option he's not great mostly flip fodder uh, two victoplasma for when you can't really do much of anything but you have the counter blast for it don't normally go into him mostly flip fodder but he's there just in case you need him and then uh, two medio kaiser victor. Um, he is a resourceless way to get restand, potential restands. Um, if like, say your opponent strode first and you G guarded, then you can stride into this. If you don't have the resources to pull off a buster turn, you can at least get uh, an extra attack out of him. Uh, so that's it for the strides. Uh, you notice I'm not running Stark because, um, Stark, I would typically find when I go into him, uh, it would not be, I would be in a bad position to the point where he going into Stark w still wouldn't even win me the game. And if I don't win the game with Stark, I lose access to my G zone. And then I just lose access to all of my more, more powerful stuff. Uh, now onto the G guardians, uh, run two Dogen Titan. Um, uh, this is for typically if your opponent's trying to play like the control game, or if you're going up against another Excel deck that, that just wants to, uh, go wider than you, uh, easy 25 K shield. Plus, can get you your resources, your counter blast resources back if need be. Uh, one Gundreed. Typically, you use him to flip up uh, Dogen Titan, so you can flip it back face down if you need to. Um, but you know, being able to get back your counter blast is really helpful. 
Uh, one Unior, because you do burn through all your soul, you can easily drop this to Soul Charge 2, and it's really useful. And then one Dismal to stop your opponent from uh, trying to stop your opponent from trying to pick off key rear guards and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that 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 about wraps it up, guys. Um, let me know what you think uh, about the deck list. Um, if there's any any ideas you have to improve upon it, I would love to hear it. Uh, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.